Morning folks and welcome back. Maggie and I are out here in the woods today. Um, we stayed out here last night, we did, we did an overnight camp um, and I kept the fire going just so that we could um, use it for what, we, for what we're doing today. Um, it's Easter just around the corner so um, I thought it'd be a nice idea to cook some lamb. So we're going to be doing a leg of lamb with some veggies. I've bought a Dutch oven. Um, I've just cut a load more wood to, to add to what we had uh, left over last night. So we should have plenty for uh, doing what we need to do. So yeah, I'll uh, get everything together and um, show you what we're cooking. So here's the lamb. It's actually half a leg of lamb. You wouldn't believe how expensive lamb is these days. <laughs> and um, you know, it's only Maggie and I, and what we don't eat, I'm gonna take home, and we're gonna have um, at home this evening for, for dinner with the rest of the family. So there it is. I'm gonna um, dust that with flour and uh, just brown that off in the Dutch oven um, before I start to, to cook it properly, before I start to you know, roast it. Um, and I've got some veggies and stuff to go with it. So once I've got that into brown, I'll um, prepare some of the prepare some of those veggies. So this flour I've just seasoned at home with a bit of salt and white pepper, and that's ready to go in and brown. I'm going to be using my grill to put the Dutch oven on. Um, this is one of Trevor's TJM Metalworks. Um, this is one of his large stainless steel grills. Really great bit of kit. Um, because I haven't got any height adjustment here, I didn't bring my tripod, um, I bring it over to one side and what I'll do is I'll just drag coals out and um, arrange them underneath where the Dutch oven is and I can just keep the fire on this side and then I can just replenish as I need. Just oil in the Dutch oven. This is just vegetable oil in here. And then in it goes. For veggies, I've got some spuds. I've got some of them little Chantenay carrots. I've got some shallots. I've got garlic, which I'm gonna stud into the lamb to get some flavor in there. I'm just gonna put them on one half though, so Maggie can have some of the other half without the garlic in. Um, and I've got some rosemary. Right, the lamb is browned and I've just cut three slots in the lamb and just pushed those cloves of garlic in so they're right down deep inside the lamb, just at the, the fat end of the leg and um, Maggie can have some meat off the thin end. I'm going to just chuck in my potatoes now and my carrots and my shallots which I've just peeled and halved. A bit of water. Two of these lamb stock pots. One. Two. A 
good old glug of red wine. And a couple of sprigs of rosemary. All right, Mags. Well, that's starting to look really good. It's braising nicely in that stock and red wine and the meat's browning up nicely on top and it smells absolutely divine. <laughs> I love lamb, I can't wait for this. It's gonna be really good. Um, apologies for the uh, aircraft noise um, in the background. It's a lovely day, you know, if I was a light aircraft pilot, I'd, I'd be up there for sure on a day like this. Um, we're a small island, you know, we're never too far from a, from a small airfield, so there's, there's often, um, you know, small aircraft buzzing about. So um, yeah, you'll probably pick it up on the microphone. Right, I'm gonna call that done. That's had about 
I don't know, an hour and a half, I suppose. I'm just gonna sit that on there to rest for a bit. And I'm gonna scoop out the, the vegetables out of the, out of the stock and the wine here. And I'm gonna thicken that up back over the fire again. In here, I've just got some uh, gravy, gravy powder, gravy granules, good old Bisto Best, the beef one. And I'll get that back over the fire and that'll just thicken up nicely and make a nice gravy. I'm gonna give Maggie a couple of carrots. She does like a carrot. I'm gonna make sure I don't get any of that onion in there though. And she can have a potato too. And then a bit of meat off the thin end. Oh yes. <laughs> That looks good. It does look good. It's actually just fallen away from the bone there. I can feel that this is really tender with my knife. It's just going through like butter. Lovely. A little bit more. There you go. That will do for Maggie. She um, has had her breakfast this morning. She only normally has two meals a day. So um, this is just a little extra, which I'm sure she will enjoy. There you go, girl. and I'm just gonna eat mine straight off my chopping board. Mm. That is divine. <laughs> mm. Let's try potato. Bit of onion. Gotta be careful not to get too carried away here. <laughs> I can quite quite happily sit here and eat the lot. But um I promised my lot I I take home the leftovers so we could have it for dinner tonight. Oh it's so good. The lamb is super tender. Well, that was truly delicious. Really straightforward to do at home, but much better cooked out in the woods. I'm gonna have my dessert and get things packed away. Thanks for watching and happy Easter.
Thank you.